Stadium in the Alpine city of Turin. And here we have Real Madrid against Stuttgart. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. Some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Higuain is the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. Stuttgart didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? And he's there to hoof it away. David Luiz. Cristiano Ronaldo. Looks like a good ball through. Higuain. Can he find a finish now? Koscielny gets it away. Hamshik. Well played, he saw that coming. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. And he's made certain that won't get through. Stuttgart are already chasing the game. Well, the task is obviously a lot tougher, and they can't afford to waste time feeling sorry for themselves. The correct response is greater focus and work. That is gorgeous from Muller! And they are disappearing out of sight! Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserve to. Real Madrid got themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Benzema. Yaya Toure. Neymar. Another piece of really good defending. Looks to slip it through. And through to the goalkeeper. Now it's Robin. Alaba positions himself well and cuts it out. Muller with the ball through. And Pepe. Yaya Toure. Hamshik. And it's Neymar. So what now? Neymar got into a good position, but he may need to hold things up. Vidal. Muller already, of course, on the score sheet. He goes long. Iguain. It's a loose ball. Decent clearance now. Can anyone get on the end of it? There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. Cristiano Ronaldo. Muller. Neymar. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Cristiano Ronaldo tries a through ball. Muller with a shot! They are running riot! Unbelievable. And the lead is three! It is surely done! Oh, a goal of real quality. He made it look ridiculously easy. It's almost a case of, of sacrificing some of the power in favour of getting the technique right. And technically, that volley was as good as it comes. That's not an easy skill, we know that by now. That's fantastic. Real Madrid take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Oh, taken with style! And already they're looking to run away with it.
Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Real Madrid totally rampant here. Fine defending there. Vidal. Now the pass. Iguain looking to force his way through. Hamshik. No, oh, he's come up against a brick wall there. Mascherano does well to read it and intercepts. And the half-time whistle goes. <laughs> and the second half gets on the way. So, 45 minutes to turn it round. Yaya Toure with a long pass out wide. Yaya Toure needed to come up with a better ball. Look, if he wants that ball to make it, then he has to pass it with a bit more zip. I think he knew as soon as it left his boot, it was going to be cut out. Just lacked a little more power. Has gone out. Vidal. And it's Neymar. Mascherano. Hamšík. Cristiano Ronaldo played out to the wing. Well positioned to make that interception. Cristiano Ronaldo. Vidal. And Pepe. Muller played out to the right. I think they've got to make a statement now to say to their opposition, we're not giving up without a scrap, to give themselves the belief that this is recoverable. Muller is steaming forward. It's Muller! He can get that clear. Benzema. Hamšík. Another piece of really good defending. Vidal. Passes it through, now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Fine defending there. Hamšík goes long and forward. Chip through, here it is now, surely! Vidal. Neymar, forward it goes. Higuain with the ball through. Mascherano and it's Cristiano Ronaldo Neymar chance Cristiano Ronaldo tries a long pass towards the front Hamšík Alaba Cristiano Ronaldo hoists it high and the defence can get it clear And it's Benzema. Tries a through ball. Robin. That'll be a throw in.
a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Now the pass. Morata is on his own, and he's through on goal. Spectacular from Morata! Ruthless and relentless, utterly rampant. Really outwitted one-on-one. -on -one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Well, although the keeper looked an imposing figure then, he remained totally unfazed and took the chance with great ease. Real Madrid tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Sees it out of harm's way. Vidal. Royce. Neymar. Who's going to make this theirs? was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Well, he needed to be much more precise, but that was very short on quality into the middle. Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's Vidal. Looks like a good ball through. Morata. It's a look to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. And the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. That's Cristiano Ronaldo. Rooney, and he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Hamshik. Looks to slip it through. Defenders on the back foot. And out to safety. Real Madrid can count themselves very lucky there, they look fragile. Morata pushes it out wide. Cristiano Ronaldo. Great ball and now the shot. Rooney. The clearance and very necessary. Added time is up and there goes the whistle. Well, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story. They were outclassed in every possible way.